guys, Jimmy here with another video. If you're watching this video, unfortunately your car probably won't start and that's probably what led you here because no one just Googles how to diagnose a no start. Maybe they do, I do, because I'm a freak. But either way, let's get straight to the point. So you came out, you came out of the store, whatever the problem is, your vehicle won't start. Now how do you go about diagnosing that? So the first thing you're gonna do is, you're gonna get in your vehicle. All right, you're gonna put your key in the ignition. You're gonna turn it. If you see nothing come on, pretty good indication that the battery is dead or you're not getting power to the ignition circuit, which means you should check your fuses. Now on this vehicle, I believe it's behind here. I'm not gonna pull it out. But just for informational purposes, you're gonna get in there and check your fuses, which I'm gonna to get to later in the video. But go through fuses that say things like ECM, PCM, starting circuit, ignition, things like that. Check the fuses to make sure they're not blown, okay? Now, if you get power when you turn the key on and your lights all do their thing, you know, they go through their cycle, you try to start it and the lights go out whenever you hit start, the battery's dead. You need to jump the vehicle. Now, let's say that you do this and um, you get a click. Next thing you need to do is pop your hood, go outside, and without putting your hands in the ignition, you're gonna locate your um, fuse box, your distribution box. Now, these are what's called relays. These things click when you turn the ignition and they allow the vehicle to start. Now, if you hear this click, that's a good thing. You have your friend, your kid, whoever, trying to start the vehicle and you hear this click. That means that you're getting power sent to the starter. So the next thing you wanna do is locate the starter. Now in this vehicle, it's kinda of concealed. I would have to move this air box and stuff, but it's down there somewhere, um, you know, in all of its glory. But it's a round cylindrical um, device and that's what cranks the engine to allow it to start. So sometimes if it's very accessible, you can take like a hammer or something, you can kind of tap it while someone's trying to start it, if you can do so safely, and it'll start one or two more times. Now I've done this on an old Ford a few times. I've actually driven like a week like that when I was you know, a teenager and too poor to afford a starter and roll starting it. So sometimes that works. Now, let's say your vehicle's cranking. You get a bup, 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 no start. You need to find some starting fluid, and I've done this, I don't even know, 400 times I would say. Like, no, no joke. Um, I go straight to the starting fluid anytime, and that's that's excluding that, or assuming you didn't hear any kind of mechanical knocking or clanging or something like that, and you don't have an engine failure. So if it's cranking and it sounds normal cranking, but it's just not starting, I go straight to starting fluid. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take your air box loose. On this one, it's got some you know Torx bits, so we're not gonna worry about it, but generally they just pop loose. You're gonna raise it up, you're gonna have someone try to crank it, and you're gonna go pssst. Spray a little bit of starting fluid, maybe like one to two seconds. Not much, it doesn't take much. If the vehicle tries to start, that means your fuel pump has went out or you're not getting power to the fuel fuel pump circuit. Check the relays, all right? And if not, then that tells you that the fuel pumps went bad, unfortunately. And I have a video on that and some other ones. I think it's on like a uh, Jeep Cherokee or something, but I go straight to the starting fluid because the vehicle needs two things to start, spark and fuel. Now, you could also say battery, it needs battery to crank, but really you need spark and fuel. And if one of those two things is missing, you're stuck on the side of the road or in a parking lot at Walmart or big lots, and you're just not going anywhere. So if the vehicle, let's say it doesn't start off the starting fluid, that means that you're not getting spark. Now what would cause a no spark? In these vehicles, they have, uh, they're pretty reliable with plugs and coils and all that stuff. So generally a plug or a coil is not gonna make a no start condition. Now it can, but a newer vehicle like this one's like a 13, Generally, it's going to be like a, a bad ground wire or let's say like a blown fuse, ECM, PCM, or ignition. So go through every fuse in your manual and try to find the efficient. And I promise you, um, because vehicles don't kill necessarily fuel, they kill spark. Um, so generally, if the vehicle won't start and the starting fluid didn't work, it killed the spark and you're not getting anything, right? It's just not going to fire. So. Um, check your fuses and your relays and make sure that you don't have any like computer fuses or powertrain or um, something like that. Maybe even a, a, a security device can do this. If it's, let's say you're, you have a security light flashing in the dash, there's all kinds of videos on YouTube of how to reset your security system on, especially like Ford F-150s and stuff, um, if your battery went dead. But that being said, if you have a manual um, and your starter is the offender, you can always try to roll start it, which means get up to like five miles an hour by someone pushing it safely, right? jump in and just put it in gear and pop the clutch with the ignition on the ignition has to be on and the vehicle will start um if it's the starter you can do that but either way i hope this video helps some of you and is a little bit informative now there's all kinds of things that can cause a vehicle not to start beyond this but this is like the very basic um five minute video that will give you the rundown on how a vehicle works and how it starts and how to start looking for things if you're totally new to this um so yeah if you want a question comment um 
always feel free to reach out and i'm sorry if i don't get back to you promptly but i, I definitely will as soon as i see it take care guys